Uh, this is the first engine that I ever built in 1950 back in Massapequa Park, New York. The store Turner set from a set of castings. And it's a middle engine for general power uses. The Ferris wheel is a toy bought in the South End, uh, California. And then assembled here in California. This is a triple expansion model of a triple expansion ship engine. 900 horsepower. And it was built in Moss, Norway in 1935. Into a oil killer ship. Uh, and worked most of its life in the Antarctica chasing whales. In 1965, it was scrapped in Vancouver, BC, and the engine was bought by the Fox movie people and used as the engine room set in the movie Sam Pedal and Steve McQueen. After the movie was made, a man in San Diego acquired it and it sat in his backyard marine museum for 30 years. Then he donated it to the SS Lane Victory, a World War II cargo ship stored and operated by the Merchant Marine Veterans of World War II. Uh, and then Hidden and I was Hidden and I restored the engine and we put an electric drive on it so that it could be shown off to the general public. The engine is reversible from the head to the stern by throwing this lever. Okay, now for the rest of the stuff. I'll slow it down and the action will look a little better. There's no need to be any talking on this one. This is an oscillating engine that was used for general purpose use, pump water, run line shafts in factories, and it was a general purpose engine. Right now it is running a generator. The castings are scratch built from bar stock, not, not castings, and the generator is a Stuart Turner generator. This is a circa 19 late 80s beam engine. It was used for general purpose power uses.
pump water, run line shafts in manufacturing plants. It was an interesting engine because it has no crosshead to support the piston rod as the beam goes up and down, so it has what is known as a watt parallel motion to keep the piston rod from bending. It has a governor to control the speed under load. It also, there's a little lever down towards the cylinder that can be disconnected to the valve gear and the engine can be operated by hand, but I've never been able to do it. It took about three, four hundred hours to build. This is a freelance model of a pumping engine that used to pump water. It's made all out of bar stock, no castings involved in the making of the engine. It's got a reversing mechanism on it, which is really not necessary, but that just happened to be on the set of plans, so I built it that way. I'll show you how it reverses. This is a model engine sold by, sold by a model company called the Bath Manufacturing Company in Philadelphia. It came complete, ready to go. It's all brass castings for $45. It could do a good share of work, drive us like a sewing machine or a small washing machine or something else. This is a model of a freelance horizontal mill engine, a general purpose, pump water, drive line shafts, made all out of bar stock except for the flywheel, which is a casting. It has no cross head, so the end of the piston rod is supported by a variation of the watts parallel motion to keep the piston rod from bending up and down as the engine rotates. It took practically about 100 to 150 hours to build. This is known as a grasshopper engine. It's a variation of the full beam engine used for small power demands. Uh, this is the first machine job and model I ever did. Our stock engine from plans in Popular Science magazine, circa 1947, approximately 50 hours to do.
So this is a model of a small steam launch engine built from Stuart Turner casting. Approximately 100 hours building time. This is a two-cylinder single cam engine, circa late 1800s factory power engine. The valve gear for both cylinders was driven by one cam instead of two. This is a twin cylinder pumping engine. It's a three lance bar shark engine used for general pumping. This is a large launch engine built from Stuart Kerner castings. Could be used in up to a 14 foot boat, approximately 200 hours building time. This is an antique engine, circa late 1800s or early 1900s. Builder unknown has cut off burner instead of throttle control. This is a mill engine driving a 12 volt generator powering a merry-go-round. Built from casting set, approximately 100 hours construction time. 